best friends, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I am so happy that you've joined me today. Today we're going to make a snippet roll, but first let's have our shout out to Jane Michelle, has a quarry, has Allie, Stephanie, Nancy, Ricky, Joyce, and Brittany. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, you guys, so let's first begin with what we start with. I like to start with a cardstock. It really does not matter what color of cardstock. If you have some cardstock that you don't like to use because it's the wrong color, you can use it. So this is the cardstock that I chose. And these are the colors I chose. And why did I choose these colors? Because I'm making a snippet roll to go with our journal that we made in an earlier video. This is an extremely easy journal to make. So I decided um, that we would make a snippet roll to match the journal that is just as easy as the journal. The snippet roll does take a little time, but once you've got it made, then it's like, Ooh, you're just cruising right along once you get that snippet roll made. So I chose colors that will go nicely and very pretty with this journal here. That's why I chose these colors. All right, let me set this aside and let's get right to it. So you have got your cardstock. I like to make mine two inches wide, so I would cut this in half, all right? Then I would take some fabric, like cotton fabric or muslin, and I'd cut it in a strip or two. I would fray the edges. Then I would take it to the sewing machine and I would sew it onto my cardstock. Now, when you do this, do not use your hands. Use something like your bone folder and you can start it on the machine and then just push it in and let it the machine sew and just use this. Don't use your fingers. Okay. So you're going to have after you finish, you're going to have it and it's going to look like this. Okay. So then the next thing you want to do is you're going to take these little pieces. You're going to take your your paper that you chose the colors that you wanted for your snippet roll and you're going to rip them up. Just tear them all up and then I like to go back and ink it with the, the color of ink that I used for that journal. This does take a little bit of time but like I said once you get this snippet roll finished it, it's going to go really fast when you go to decorate. Okay, so you've got all your little pieces. So next what you'll want to do is you'll want to pick up your foot of your sewing machine and yes, I do do this on a sewing machine. You could glue all this if you want. You could. There's no reason why you could not glue it. I just use a sewing machine. So you put it down or you would glue it down and then you would just go right along and do more. Once again, don't go putting these in and then putting your finger there. You'll end up sewing your finger and let me tell you, that's not a good idea. All right, so you haphazardly place these on top. Now, as you do this, I like to get a little strip of something like net or uh, lace or even little pieces like this and I weave it in and out of these papers and like like there I would like so and then I would go a little further and then you could add something else I'm looking for something else that I have you can even add another piece of material like that and so you could add I've used so many of my things that I had already just different things and sew it down and keep going and keep building and keep going and keep building. Okay. So then you end up with a piece after you do that that looks like this. Okay. At this point in time, I kind of like to go back 
through and see if there's something sticking up like this. This is really sticking up. So I like to go ahead and glue it down so it is attached because when we go to decorate we will be cutting this apart and I really don't want it to fall apart even though you've sewn it it's kind of nice to go ahead and put a little bit of glue on it okay there we go so just a little bit here and there There, that's pretty good. Now, you want to select some things that kind of go with this color. I'll turn it this way so you can see it better. Or go with your journal colors. So I've got some sequins. They're kind of in the pinks and mauves. I'm not going to use this blue color. I'm just going to use, I'm going to set out some of these pinky colors right here and a creamy color yeah I don't want the blues and I don't want that really dark pink okay got a little selection of that going on push that aside we're not going to need that I'll clean that up later and then we're going to use a little bit of the just the gold sequins I have some of those, whoops, don't need that. I have some of those dots. You can get them at the craft store that they make pictures out of. And I have another color of the dots. I like these dots because they're flat backed. They're inexpensive and they come in so many colors. So, so many colors. They are faceted. These are little flat back pearls right here. I got at Walmart. Here is some more, but they're not pearls. They're kind of iridescent little babies. They have a totally different look to them. Put them in a different pile. And then I also have some smaller pearls here. And I have some pink. Some pink diamonds these are different color I think I like this color better no it goes this color goes better with those okay so I've got an assortment going on here the next thing I would like to do is I'm going to just start now I'm going to decide what I want to use I'm going to start with the the sequins and I'm just going to put some glue you're going to need some liquid glue whether it be what I'm using which is this or whether it be your fabric tack whatever it is I like to use a little pin and now we're just going to put the sequins here and there where you have put your glue. Super easy. Super duper easy. Super duper fun. Okay. Now we're just going to keep going. Here and there. And here and there. The problem, Sometimes I find that I lose where I put my, my little bead of glue. So I don't tend to glue it all up and then go back. I kind of do it in sections because I have lost my glue before and I don't know where I put it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now we're just building. Pick that up. There we go. Pick this up. Maybe another actually this one I think should have the this on it and this one can have this one on it there i like that better now did i put any more glue anywhere else no okay let's keep going let's keep going okay so 
get some glue on my little needle here, my pin. There we go. Hope you guys are doing well today. It's the first day of school here in our area. And I got a picture of my granddaughter ready for fifth grade. She's going into fifth grade. We had the best summer. She stayed with me. We had the best summer. Yesterday, she got a bumper crop of tomatoes to take to the farmer's market. She's going with me with her tomatoes. Okay, guys, so we've got that done. Now, I'm going to let that set for just a few minutes. And I'm going to go back in, and we're going to just lay down some pearls or some flat-backed items. here and there and wherever you put your glue you guys are getting the idea right I've lost my glue there it is it's right there I think I put one on them in the middle didn't I yeah there it is there it is okay I think these have set well enough. You're going to go back in with your sequins and you're going to put glue right in the center of your sequin. Now you can go ahead and do all of them now because you can see where your sequins are. And then we're going to take, I like to take my dots and I'm just going to put the dots in the center. Now you could go ahead and use flat back pearls if you'd like. Whatever you want to decorate, beads even will work if you have beads. And you don't have any of these dots or flat back pearls, you could use beads. You're going to have to make sure you use some very strong glue to hold a bead on because you're going to glue around. It's not flat. It's my point is round. So it's going to need very strong glue, but there's no reason why you can't use it. So I'm just picking these up with my pin and I'm laying them right in the middle. Whoop, that's the wrong way. <laughs> there we go. Right in the middle. I'm trying to get them that are already on the right side right there. All right, did you hear my phone ring? I had to answer it was my daughter and the granddaughter went to school first day from, you know, summer, so I needed to answer it just in case, but everything's fine. I, everything's fine. Okay, so we're moving right along. We haven't added any of the any of the pink, these pink beauties right here, the real sparkly ones. Let's get a few of those in, and I've noticed I haven't done very much in the middle of the roll. So let's do some in the middle. Right in the middle. So this does take a little time, but it just turns out so beautiful once you're done. And I like, I know some people make them in advance, which is fine. I've done that too, and, and I've used them that I made in advance. I just use colors that I really use a lot. This one I'm actually making so that, I'm getting my head in there, aren't I? so that I can um, show you what it's going to look like when we use this snippet roll on that journal that we made earlier in the videos, earlier video. I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. And that will really go along with the theme of keeping it simple, a simple decorating the journal simply 
even though this takes a little time, it's not difficult. And it will turn out lovely. So that will be my next video. <laughs> Always have to plan ahead. Okay, where did I put that glue? There it is. Oh, there's two of them there. I don't need two of them. I just need one. There we are. Do I see any more glue? I have to turn it so the glue shines. I can see it. Okay, there's another one right here. Somewhere I thought I saw one. Here it is. There we go. Isn't it just turning out yummy? We haven't used any of these faceted ones. Let's put some of these on here. They're iridescent as opposed to pearl. They have an iridescent sheen to them. So this is more elaborate than just a roll that has material sewn together. This is actually fully decorated so that when you decide it's time to use it, it's ready to go. That's what I really like about it. It's just ready to go. Ready to go. All right, you guys. Didn't it turn out beautiful? Oh my. I just think it's gorgeous. And I have some others that I have made. I put some, they're all different. They all turn out so different. There's that one. And there's this one. You guys, <laughs> once again, I have had great fun. And I hope you join me in my next video. And I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.